Okay, gang, I think this is right about where we left off at uh, the end of the last part of this video. Um, I think about the only metagame issue that's kind of relevant is that we know this um, solo player here in the small blind is uh, pretty aggressive and kind of gets deep stack dynamics, I think, a little bit better than some of these players. Um, we did see him make one three bet from out of position with ace-jack offsuit that I thought was kind of questionable, although it did result in him winning a big pot from me. Um, but it seems like in general he's going to, uh, I think he just gets playing deep stacked more than um, a lot of these guys do. So I think we're going to see him um, re-raising big if he does enter the pot from out of position. I think we're going to see him um, using his position a lot to raise and, and three about us and that sort of thing. And as you can see, he and I are quite deep here, uh, more than 600 big blinds deep. So um, that that's a dynamic that could potentially be very important. Um, these other players, I think uh, we determined that the, the, the bud, uh, thanks bud there, is... Um, was doing pretty decently as well, and I think Apocalypse Please was not playing quite as aggressively as I would expect, which is part of why I felt like I could get away with raising that 8-6 offset, but here we go, we do get a 3-bet um, out of his big blind. Uh, and I think there wasn't too much um, dynamic over here, except that we knew this. Uh, the player on my left, uh, Nora D, had initially not 3-bet me very much, and I think um, she'd started 3 bet me a little bit more often. I would think that Apocalypse um, probably has some kind of ace here, although I would have expected him to bet the river with it, but I think this is a pretty good spot to, for him to fire a second barrel. Um, if he doesn't have an ace, I think uh, I just I just think the bud's calling range on that flop is going to be pretty wide and is going to include a lot of hands without an ace on them. I guess on the other hand, there are a lot of draws out there, um, so I guess it's pretty easy to put him on a draw, but um, I don't know, it, it seems like a, a spot where you'd want to fire a, a second barrel a fair bit. Just with him being the preflop 3 better and, and him just flat calling, I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff other than aces in this range, and I think there's a decent chance he's going to kind of um, float that flop. This wouldn't be a terrible time for a 3-bet. I don't remember if I did. No. You can really get away with a lot on your button when the stacks are deep. 